I must say I'm really excited about my new book. It's available for the first time today. It's called The Lose Your Belly Diet, Change Your Gut, Change Your Life. And I, I truly am excited about it. Why? Because, and you two have heard me talk about this so much, it's a revolutionary way to think about yep. how we're eating and also how we're living. And what's really cool about it is for so long we've blamed ourselves. Let's say we can't seem to get the weight off or we just can't feel better. So that's why in the book I focus on something that we've been overlooking and that's the huge role our gut bacteria play when it comes to our weight and our health. So why does it matter? We have 100 trillion, 100 trillion gut bacteria living within us. That weighs anywhere between two and six pounds. So even though a bacteria in and of itself, you can't see it, think about it, two to six pounds. That's a lot of Living in your gut. And so that's why in the book I talk about you change your gut, you can change your life. And we're now learning about how this plays such a huge role in not only obesity potentially, but immune disorders, autoimmune conditions, and maybe even more as science evolves. For today's doctor's prescription, I, Docs, wanted you to try one of my favorite smoothies from my book. It has an interesting ingredient in it, so a lot of good stuff here. We've got raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, some spices, including cinnamon, a little bit, quarter of a banana for natural sweetness, some spinach, Plenty and, of fiber. and one ingredient under this box, <laughs> Docs. Give it a taste. If you say so. <laughs> it's actually really good. I like it. Yeah. So, and it's what it has in it, the mystery ingredient, is kefir. And so this is one of those foods. It's actually fermented, a fermented milk drink. It's great in smoothies. You can actually put it on your cereal. Since I wrote the book, I've started to use this because mm -hmm. it is. If you use this, it actually is loaded with probiotics. And I'll tell you what, it tastes quite tasty. Mm. Yeah, it? no, it adds a little bit of a tart, almost like a yogurt, but it has more probiotics. It has more bacteria, it has yeast, so that's how it differs. And apparently the bacteria actually stay in your gut, so it's more healthy than just having some I love it. yogurt. I, and I'll tell you what, it's also, you can marinate things in it, so it's a great option. Just always make sure you're looking for kefir that has live and active cultures on that label. I've talked a lot about the importance of gut health on this show and how essential it is to have beneficial bacteria to properly digest the fiber and help you absorb nutrients. Well, today we have a doctor's shot of health to help kickstart your gut. This is the doctor's gut shot. So... Docs, if you will, this good. is very different. It looks good. Okay, it looks good. this is very different, but it contains kombucha, raspberries, and ginger. It smells good. Try it. Always have a Ooh, purpose. Like kombucha sure. is a fizzy tea, fermented black or green tea. Contains probiotics. That bacteria also contains oh. some yeast. I like. This it. is beneficial bacteria that you're adding into your gut. Raspberries, love raspberries. Eight grams of fiber per cup. And ginger, we know, is actually a wonderful, natural, anti-nausea <coughs> addition, great for gut health. Mm. You do not like I, it. No, I, can... I was actually about to thank you for giving me something that tastes good. You don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that frequently. Our viewer tweeted, will probiotics help get rid of gas or make it worse? 15 seconds, you're on the clock, and go. So I recommend people eat at least one probiotic food a day. Simple won't be just yogurt. Here's the deal, when you add probiotics, you may initially have more gas. Uh-oh. Yes, and the more fiber you add, you may have more gas as well. But the beauty is, as everything balances out, you should have just the right gas for you. Nicely. Gas isn't bad. Why is everyone so afraid of, of gas? We shouldn't be. We're not a gas. Just a, I mean, it, incidentally, it is a rapid fire question, and, 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 and honestly, <laughs> you, you want to play a little joke? You got a lighter? I'm pretty fired up because I just wrote a new book called The Lose Your Belly Diet, and in this book, I talk about these new concepts based on all this new research out there about how important it is to make sure you're eating enough of the right foods that you're not just feeding yourself to lose weight, but feeding the ever important Drew, da, da, da. Your little buddies. Your little buddies. Your gut bacteria. This is such an emerging area of science where these gut bacteria that inhabit your gut play such a huge role in how we feel, how much we weigh, and it goes hand in hand with inflammation in your body. There's so many elements to this, 
And so I tell people a lot of times, if you're if you're trying to eat healthy but not feeling well, your bowel movements aren't as regular, it's probably because you're not eating these gut-friendly foods that also feed your little buddies. So do not get mad at our graphics department. I drew these. <laughs> so the guy on the left, that's, the, that's a good little buddy. That's Mr. Happy. The one on the right is a mean little buddy. He's a fat little buddy. He's a bad guy. Too many of us have too many of those bad little buddies in our guts. And so the whole point of my book is teaching people how to replace the bad guys with the good guys, the good little buddies. And what's amazing is we're now learning that if you do that, you will lose weight, you will lose your belly, you will feel better. But we didn't know about any of this. Till just even at, recently. You can't ignore the importance of your gut in all of this. And on top of that, just feeling better, more energized, more active, so important.